So today, um, Jaguar Land Rover announced um, Just Drive, which is a, a new application on our In Control Apps platform. Um, quickly do a quick demo of In Control Apps. So In Control Apps supports both iOS and Android phones. Um, the connection is via USB uh, for data and Bluetooth for uh, audio. Just reconnect the Bluetooth. So this is a normal setup, it's not part of the extra smartphone feature. Reconnect. So once the phone's connected, yeah. you get the leaper screen there. Gotcha. And the so you've displayed with a, a number of uh, supported applications. Not every application you've got on your phone will be supported in the car. It's only select applications that have integrated our SDK software development kit and obviously have created a car mode UI, so uh, a friendlier uh, user interface with larger buttons, bigger text, etc. Gotcha. to make it easier to use in a vehicle. So Just Drive is a new app that we've introduced, well, announced today. It's uh, been created by a company called Cloud Car uh, from the Valley. Um, it basically looks to simplify the most common tasks uh, or features that you'd use during your commute so first one is uh, navigation secondly it's um, telephony so calls texting tweeting uh, and thirdly it's music streaming so when you launch a just drive application uh, you're first faced with uh, a list of what they call billboards so it says hello it's Tuesday November the 18th secondly you'll get your weather uh, with your temperature your current location the option to listen to today's news, and for example here in NPR, play the last track that was playing when you left the vehicle, um, and go go to a destination that's either in your calendar or somebody has texted you, for example. So there's a number of clever algorithms that run in the background to display them billboards. Gotcha. So this is uh, the sort of landing screen of the Just Drive application. So like I said, Go is for uh, navigation. So we'll do a, a navigation example here. Everything is voice controlled. So we just hit the microphone button. Find sushi. Do you want the real sushi bar on Westwood Boulevard? Hide sushi, Japan. Navigating to hide sushi Japanese mm. restaurant on Sortel Boulevard. So it gave us um, results of the three um, closest sushi restaurants uh, with the Yelp ratings there. Uh, I'll chose the second one and it's come back to the main screen and gives me the ETA in a very simple form in, in the blue circle. If I hit that going button again, it'll either give me the, the Yelp rating again, the option to be able to call the restaurant, or if there's a street view map available, it'll give you street view of the restaurant so you can easily identify it. Gotcha. Is that a demo right there with the uh, Yeah, that's the car yeah. Okay, just making sure. I, was, yeah. I thought maybe it was showing like a preview. We're not moving. <laughs> so to give you an example of, of uh, the way it eases the task of sending a text message while driving. Text John. Peter, so yeah. Text John. Do you want to hire John? Second one. So I can also the name or, or the position in the list. Hi, John. What's your message? I'm running thirty minutes late. I'm running 30 minutes late. Is that correct? Yes. No typing, no tapping, no nothing. Hmm. So if you receive a text message, it will read it out to you. So I can also send my location as a cloud card to uh, any of my contacts. So I'll simply send, so say talk. It's got my contacts there. Again, by voice. Text Peter, my location. Sorry, I did not find anyone named Pizza. Okay. Now does, will this, That's voice uh, recognition. Yeah. It's, it's uh, um, uh, been tweaked for the US market with my English accent, it's not the best. Gotcha. Yeah, I was gonna ask, does it learn... Um, Text John, my location. Do you want to buy John? Second one. 
So that will send my location on a map. Gotcha. Um, what vehicle I'm driving, what music I'm listening to, and what time I'm going to arrive there. And is, does it work like a glimpse in the sense that it's very it erases, similar. Yeah, very so it erases similar. over time. Correct. Or okay. No, it's a static card. So okay. So okay. It's not like like glimpse where you get a uh, an updated location. It'll give you a static snapshot. Gotcha. And does the system like other virtual assistants? Does it learn? Uh, the way you speak a little bit better. Um. Yeah, with time, obviously the recognition engine gets better with, with the more um, uh, sort of times it recognizes your voice uh, and the number of snippets you actually upload. Gotcha, okay. So, yeah, uh, I'm out. Play Imagine Dragons. So yeah, usually, play Imagine Dragons. It's quite difficult to get to a certain song in embedded head unit systems. You have to go to the menu, audio, uh, artist, album, find the track. Here you can just say the track name. It goes and does an off-board search. And depending on which subscription services you have already subscribed to, say Spotify, Audio, etc., and many more, oh, okay. it'll go there and search that and find the track. So it's compatible. It. So if you so this works for Apple, iPhone, and Android. Uh, Android, right? Correct. So. Um, uh, so if you have onboard music storage and then you have a subscription to the... It will search all of them. It searches okay. the onboard storage and it will search your offboard board Gotcha, gotcha. Play Rihanna. Do you want the artist Rihanna or the album Rihanna? Artist. Oh, great, yeah. Now playing the artist Rihanna. So you get a, a shuffle of and, all the and tracks. Is it compatible with most of the most internet radio subscribers, or is there a, is there a set list? Of There's one? a set list. So okay. That's uh, via Cloud Car working with a number of providers, and uh, we use JLR pick and choose which ones we want per market. Gotcha. Okay. So it really simplifies the task of these three main sort of use cases that you'd um, sort of entertain features you'd use during your normal drive. Yeah. Um. Could you show me real quick uh, just one of the apps that you had, either Sitch or NPR, and how that interacts with this? Okay, so I'll just into your app. Gives you your front page articles. Gotcha. Able to scroll through. NFL suspends Adrian Peterson. Oh. <laughs> so welcome you to Stitcher. At Stitcher, we're always working to make it easier for you to connect with your favorite shows and topics. NFL suspends Adrian Peterson for nice. season by Justin Warland. So Peterson we're also supporting uh, NPR News, yeah. uh, Newsbeat, and Rivet Radio yeah. as well in the U.S. Gotcha. And you and you show it on the on, on the presentation that you guys are gonna. Uh, support many more apps. Oh yeah. yeah, so we're up to 17 apps. We're also featuring uh, June uh, this year. Uh, so we're, we're adding things like audiobooks, um, like I said, NPR, Newsbeat, River Radio, and a whole host of other apps in the pipeline. Okay, great. So it's, it's a really simple uh, platform to integrate onto. Yeah. Uh, so hence we can add applications, the right applications very quickly. Right. And what, what are your standards in terms of, uh, or does that happen, what Cloud Car, uh, the standards and what makes a uh, uh, drive an app that's okay for the driving experience. So you, you saw the uh, Cloud Car UI. It's very very simple. It allows the the driver to keep their eyes on the road. It's uh, voice input. Um, you're not tapping in a destination. You're not tapping in a text message. But it allows you to have that functionality. Yeah. It allows you to do a search by voice. You're not going through menus, uh, layers of uh, menus to try and find a specific track. Yeah. It is dependent on a data connection. Um, if to use streaming services, but if the music's actually stored on your phone, then it will obviously uh, provide results. Gotcha. And can you do any navigate? Is there a companion app for navigation through this, or is the navigation the embedded system? If you have that no, option? the navigation is actually via the Just Drive application. It's an off-board navigation. Okay, gotcha. Off-board navigation. So you can have off-board and, and on board. So the embedded system is still there, so it's not like the embedded system's locked out. So we hit home, and we can go straight into the embedded system. It's still there. 